to the 2018 Mercedes AMG GTC. Woo! Probably get pulled over here at a moment. Probably a cop behind me, honestly. <laughs> so, this is the 2018 Mercedes GTC, the older brother to the GTS and the younger brother to the GTR, but not by much. This GTC has 550 horsepower, 605 pound-feet of torque, coming from a four-liter twin-turbo V8. And it's got a lot of pep in its step. This thing has a ton of torque and just gets up and goes whenever you want it to. I find myself way over the speed limit far too often and it is very difficult to stay under that speed limit. But I should say that uh, for legal reasons, I'm always doing 100 on the highways and uh, this posted speed limit everywhere else. Woo! Here we go, come up and up to a corner here. And this thing is so confidence inspiring on these corners. It's, this rear steering is incredible. Awesome. That rear steering really makes a difference. When I first was thinking about driving this car, I was thinking it's gonna be way too unstable, but hold on. Woo! Downshifts, baby. So before I was really interrupted by that tunnel, uh, and everyone knows if you have a car like this, you gotta floor and get those backfires going. But um, before I drove this car, I thought that it was gonna be incredibly unstable, incredibly all over the place with the front engine and a long front hood like that. But the rear steering is, is amazing. You get so much confidence in this car. It was, I drove it for 15 minutes and I felt super, super confident um, very quickly. I was shocked. With the GTS, it doesn't come with rear steering as a, an option and that's where this does um, it, this comes as an option on the GTC however this car is you know almost thirty thousand dollars more expensive so so you might be asking yourself like you usually are on these shows that how much is this car so brand new 2018 this car was hundred and seventy nine thousand dollars in the secondary market you can get them currently with inflation and the all the craziness in the world right now for about 145,000. So a little bit under sticker, but honestly, it's a lot of car for the for the money. And most cars nowadays they're over 100 grand. Um, so to have as much fun and the backfires and the looks and everything, it's 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 great. I uh, I'm honestly pleasantly surprised, honestly to say the least. So you'll notice that uh, this specific GTC has a few added pieces that kind of makes it stand out from the. Uh, from the others. The owner of this car has a nice rear wing. They've blacked out and added some red stripes on the skirts, on the mirrors, uh, the front end. So it gives it that really nice aggressive look. And I've seen quite a few GTCs, GTRs, and most of them have been in like black or, or gunmetal. And this red, this Mars red is amazing. It looks so cool. It gets so many looks and those little bits and pieces, they add some really nice elements that actually kind of makes it look like the GTR. A lot of people think uh, they had a GTR uh, when, they, when they see this car goes by, but it is not. It's the GTC. So one of the cons of having 
all these cool little bits added onto the car, however, is on this specific car right now, the way it's set up, the fixed wing at the back actually blocks the factory air brake that would come up. And because of that, the computer won't let this car go over 200. And I mean, in Ontario, you don't want to go over 150, usually on the highways where you get your car impounded. But um, it, it is, if you're driving those speeds, a little frustrating, but it's a simple fix. You just go right to Mercedes or, or a garage that you trust and uh, they can take that off and, and you're, you're good to go. So one of the things that surprised me amongst a lot of things that actually surprised me was was the different modes. When you put it in comfort, it, it feels like a Mercedes. It feels like you know what you're expecting when you get into Mercedes. But when you you know put it into sport mode, it uh, sport plus in particular, it, it really livens up and it becomes a GTC. What you would expect from a car like that. Um, so kudos to you, Mercedes. So as much as this car surprised and impressed me. There are a few cons, and every car's got their cons, but the very first thing that I noticed when I got in this car was, you feel a little bit lower, and I'm not a short guy by any means, and I, I felt like I was low, and the belt line right here, it, it felt like it was a little bit high. So it was a, a little bit of a unusual feeling, something that I hadn't really experienced before. And then, as we all know, it's a front engine car, so you have a really long extended hood, and you're constantly thinking about that. I will admit that when you're driving and cornering, you don't think about it so much, but when you're going slow and you're maneuvering in areas, it's, it's, it is very long and noticeable. That's what she said. <laughs> And so you think about it constantly, you're not sure where you are, especially on the front right there. And welcome to the exterior. My favorite part of the car, well, one of my favorite things about this car, and for good reason, look at this damn thing. Come on, let's go look at it some more. So, these are the back tires of the Mercedes GTC. These are 20 inch rims, which I have to admit look quite good, wrapped in 305s. Pretty nice from factory. You got the red calipers on here. I'll take it. And these are the front tires. 19 inch rims. Still look just as good. Not as good as the back, but they're wrapped in 295s. Would you look at that front end? I tell you, pretty nice stuff. No, but in, in all seriousness, look at the size of this grill. Look at the size of this Mercedes symbol. That's. Awesome, this is one of my favorite parts of the car, honestly. But I think if I had to pick one, the overall silhouette. Uh, I, I'm a sucker for a front engine sports car, 812s, F12s, anything like that, I'm, I love it. So this is great, this is a soft spot for me. So this is the rear end of the car. And this is the rear picnic bench. I mean, the rear wing. Just look at this thing, it looks awesome. You know what doesn't look awesome? Are these back bumpers that North American transit travel safety people say we must have on these beautiful cars. I hate this. Please, let's stop this, people. Uh. Okay. Welcome to the interior of the 2018 Mercedes GTC. Not too bad. It's very pleasant in here. The first thing that stood out to me when I got in this car was this massive center control. Like it is right in your face it's very cool you've got all your uh, controls here you can start stop race comfort sport traction control stamping you know bells and whistles air conditioning it's all buttons physical buttons thank you i love physical buttons as you guys know uh, it's all right close to you again as you guys know the steering wheel love it love it love it it's thick enough that feels really good it's not too large it is awesome. It's one of my favorite things about this car. I wish, although we got the red and black theme going everywhere, where's the little uh, center indicator that's that's red on the steering wheel? I'm I'm shocked it's not there. Maybe it was there. Who knows? And as as I said, when I when I sit in this car, it's like as I was trying to describe earlier, it's like I've I've sat in a hole. It's the only way to describe. It. It's like I'm on a golf course. I just got putted into the green in the hole. And now here I am, it's, it's weird. Like these belt line is just so tall and you just sit down so low. I love the red interior, a little bit of Alcantara in here. Overall, it's um, really well done, simple, sporty. 
Again, we talked about these seats, really, really cool. And this embroider here on the leather of the center console in the middle is, is really cool too. It's a nice little touch. I think it could use maybe a little more carbon. I don't even know if there is carbon in here. You're paying 180 grand for no carbon. Oh, there's a little bit of carbon on the tack, but that's it. Overall, well done. Welcome by popular demand to the first ever inaugural, is that the right word, inaugural? First ever, whatever, door test. So. We'll be ranking this door on a scale of one to 10 in terms of satisfaction, crispiness, great sound, all that good stuff. Just ooh, when you walk away. So without further ado, let's get to it. Now, before I do this, I know you're all dying with anticipation. I want you to leave a comment below and let me know what you think I'm going to score the very first door closing. Okay. Here we go. Probably give that like a six and a half, six and a half. It's good, but it's not like thump good where it's just like hits every part of your body. Six and a half. There we go. Okay. Now time to try the launch control. So left foot on the brake, right foot on the accelerator and dump it. that I noticed have, after driving this car for a few days um, that I'm not particularly fond of. These are amazing and super cool seats. I think they're pretty badass, but on extended drives, like I'm talking maybe an hour, you're, you're starting to feel pretty uncomfortable. There's not much support, so they're not the greatest. Aesthetically, they're fantastic. But the other thing I didn't really like, but I understand why we can't have it, is it's got this great panoramic roof, but you know, part of me was looking for the button. I'm like, where the hell is this damn button? But it's uh, it's fixed, it doesn't go back. And listen, that's understandable. It's a sports car, that's a heavy mechanism. They're not trying to go for that. So listen, I understand. As you would expect with a car that costs $180,000 and looks this good, there's gonna be quite a few benefits. And right away when I got in the car, the first thing I noticed was the, the visibility. It's fantastic. These. B pillars I thought were gonna be atrocious like most cars uh, in this caliber would be, but it, it's fantastic. Uh, the trunk as well, having a ton of camera gear, it's surprising how much space there is back there. It just lifts right up open like a wagon almost. Uh, so that was nice as well. The other thing that is amazing is just being able to pop it in Sport Plus mode here and just having a freaking riot. Like this thing is just incredible drop down a few gears and <laughs> you're off to the races. <laughs> oh my god. I could just all day long, baby. All day long. Good morning. <laughs> so as we're coming to slower speeds, one of the things that I've noticed with this car is the clutch at low speeds isn't the best. It's a little bit clunky. And when you're putting it in reverse and turning at slow speeds, it's a little bit, you know, choppy. It kind of feels like you're in a, a single clutch Aventador just, you know, doing one of these. I mean, it's a sports car, so what can you do? As we're passing a Porsche dealership, it naturally came up to think about what's the competition for this car. And one of the main vehicles as, as competition for this vehicle is the Porsche 911 GTS. And I would say if someone's comparing the two and they're not sure what to get, I would say this car will grab attention. And if that's your thing, if you wanna get attention, by all means, this is your car. It's got the great looks, it's loud, it's got the backfires, it's got all that. But the Porsche is a little more refined, it's a little more quiet. So if, if you don't wanna get attention, get the Porsche. You save a little bit of money as well. Honestly, both cars are fantastic, but that's really the main thing. They're, they're both great handling cars. I was shocked about how confidence inspiring and how well this handled this. It's phenomenal. One thing I noticed while driving this car too, uh, which really adds to the confidence inspiration while driving this car is the computer. It's you know, I thought it was going to be fish tailing all over the place, kind of like a Dodge Viper back in the day, but it was actually 
the computer in this car is, is really good and it's a little bit you know annoying when you want to kind of get a little squirrely and you know get a little crazy i mean yeah sure you could turn the traction control off but i don't want to go full crazy so i i think in the gtr if you have the drift mode that could be a little bit of a help as well that that's probably where that extra little bit of money comes in and makes it a little more worth it so when i was first learning about this car um, what surprised me was the gtc is only 27 horsepower less than the gtr and I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but I didn't know that. It's the same engine. The only difference is the turbos are a little bit different and that adds for obviously more boost, uh, obviously some aero bits and, and tuning and whatnot, but I, I was surprised. I thought the GTR was gonna be a little bit higher in horsepower and torque. I'm gonna put my Doug DeMiro hat on again for a second. This right here is a quirk that you did not know. Nope. In all seriousness, there's a really cool quirk about this car that at first I really didn't like. I was trying to put on the four ways and I'm searching everywhere in this damn car for the four ways. And then I looked up and they're up overhead right uh, below the glass here. And it's just one of those like little things that you put it there, you don't have much space and it's really cool. I really started to like, you feel like a fighter pilot, honestly. You hit the four ways, your air control seat here, is there your heated seat? Uh, so it's just, it's just cool. I, I like it. Ooh. All right, folks, boys and girls, there you have it. 2018 Mercedes AMG GTC. This was a pleasantly surprising car. I went into this thinking it was going to be uncontrollable, front heavy, and came out with completely different experience. So if you like today's video, leave a like comment, subscribe. It really helps our channel grow. We're trying to do some more cool stuff for you guys. So if you like this, please help us out. But uh, until next time, I gotta go hit the skate park. See you later. particular model comes with a, a bottle of Dior Sauvage coming out coming out smelling like Woodbridge <laughs>